Hello everyone! Today I'm going to teach you how to make USB microphones not suck ass in Windows. First, you will need to download all the programs that are linked in the description. Keep in mind that Element does cost $2 to download, but it is the only one of these programs that actually costs any money. Next, install all the programs. The order doesn't matter. Voice Meter will ask you to restart, but you can wait until you finish installing the programs to do that. Now we are going to set up Voice Meter. I use Voice Meter Potato, but any of them should work. Go to the menu and turn on Auto Start and enable the system tray. This will make sure that Voice Meter turns on with Windows and is always running. Click on the A1 output and set it to ASIO for all. Set all the virtual input buffers to 4096 to reduce latency, but if you have audio crackling issues, change them back. Set the USB microphone that's having issues as hardware input 1. Open the Voice Meter system settings and turn on the patch insert for the hardware input you are using to route the audio to Element for processing. That's it for voice meter. Now open ASIO for all, select the device you would like to output to, and change the buffer as low as you would like. 128 is probably safe. To make Element auto start with Windows, copy the shortcut from your desktop, go to your start menu and type in run, then type in shell colon startup, and paste the shortcut in that folder. Next go to the Element settings and turn off ask to save session on exit. Remove the MIDI devices because we don't need them. Go back to the element settings, go to audio, device, and select voice meter potato insert. While you're here, deselect all the patch inserts that are not in use. Now right click in the graph and add the Bertum denoiser plugin. These are my denoiser settings as an example, but you'll have to play with it to figure out what works. Next add a stereo volume plugin and crank it. Connect the input through the plugins and into the output. Make sure to save the session so that Element will load it the next time it opens. Finally, right click on Element in the tray and click on Hide. The last thing you need to do is go to Voice Meter and make sure that your microphone is set the output to B1 and then make sure your games are set to use Voice Meter output as their input. And that's it! Hopefully your microphone sounds way better now. I use this for my Pimax AKX and it sounds almost as good as my index. Um, if you like this video, like, subscribe, I don't make videos but you know, the whole thing. Share this video with your friends if they have a Pimax or a USB microphone that sucks. And I hope this helped you.